Chris here, got a big tool this time, uh, something new, something I've always wanted to explore and um, haven't had the chance to, but this was on sale for um, 180, which I decided it was worth giving it a shot and it was the right size. So what we're looking at here is a little arc welder by the brand Ryland, R-I-L-A-N-D. This is their 160 GS model. And it is, like you, you can see, it's fairly small. I think it weighs about nine pounds. You know, it'll be easy to carry. I really only need this for, I wanted something very portable because the main thing I would use this for is some repairs to our dock. We live on a lake. We have a dock that is metal and um, being able to do some welding repairs to it to stabilize it when there's rust and that kind of thing would be nice. So that's, that's what we'll do here. I'll use some angle iron and now I'll be able to actually weld it. So looking forward to that. So that's why I went with this model and this small size, nice compact. And this is dual voltage, which I need. So as you can see over here, it comes with, you know, the regular plug for your uh, 230 and then the adapter. So that is, that's something I needed as well because I don't have easy access to 230 volts except in my garage. Um, it's actually a good size cord. Um, which is nice to have a little bit longer cord because you really don't want to have to plug that into an extension cord unless you have a heavy duty extension cord. Also, um, so this is, um, like I said, their 160 GS welder model. It's dual voltage and it is VRD adjustable. It has a self-adaptive arc force and hot start built in and anti-sticking. It also has a fan that it will go as needed, so um, it only runs when it's needed to reduce noise. And it says non-stop welding for 2.5 millimeter and 3.2 millimeter electrode, able to accommodate a 4 millimeter electrode. And it's suitable for acid electrode and basic electrode. So I don't know a lot of what that needs. I'm going to be watching YouTube and talking to my father-in-law. Um, to get information on a lot of things because most of this is new to me. Um, so for the other items that are included here, we have your electrode holder right here. These plug into the front of the box, which I will show you in a minute. And then here is your ground. Okay. They also give you um, a <laughs> A makeshift mask, I would say, you know, a small mask that you could use that will suffice for you to hold while you uh, weld. However, you may end up wanting to purchase something that stays on your head. And then here's a little brush cleaner. So those all come with it. Uh, to again, to look more at the actual welder, you've got your handle on top. Here's the front of the welder, right? So we can see the dial, you can see where your um, ground plugs in and where your um, electrode holder plugs in. So you've got your two spots right there, your power button and your dial. And then again, another power button back here and the fan. So other side looks the same. And then there is some information on actual voltage and everything right there. Okay, so it's the Ryland 160 GS. It's their kind of small compact model, dual voltage. I will go ahead and, and give it a try out and see if I can figure this welding thing out. Always been something I wanted to do and just hadn't bit the bullet and bought an actual device yet. So found a good deal on one, thought we'd give it a try. Thanks.